For a long time, I had a simple goal in mind. Travel to Japan, find a park, and sketch. And it finally happened. Higashi Ikebukuro Park. Nothing particular, nothing fancy. A place I stumbled into by random chance. A church across the road behind me, two girls sitting and talking on a bench nearby, and some birds on the ground. Take in the environment, draw with pen and paper. Very simple. But there is an overwhelming dread that time is running out. The issue with Tokyo is that no matter how much you plan for, you will always find more things that you hadn't planned for. So my tight schedule now calls for wish fulfillment. Take in the moment and use that moment to make it the perfect moment. So, you know, nothing too fancy. A very simple goal. The birds catch my attention and I decide to draw them. But as I try to draw them, I in turn catch the attention of the locals. The birds have come to look at my drawings, and they are laughing at me. And although my stomach churns with embarrassment, it is at the very least reasonable. They are bad depictions of birds, so maybe laughing at them is fine. Nonetheless, I can't help but blurt out, I'm sorry, it's not very good. And the birds ignore me, they keep laughing. And as reasonable as I can be and tell myself that it's all quite alright, it's okay to draw bad doodles, it's okay to find them funny, it's all quite okay. I still feel bad, and I stop drawing. Why is it stopping? asks one bird. We were enjoying it, weren't we? says another. You ruined it, make it happen again, says a third. And the birds look at the paper eagerly. I draw a line. It's back, the birds say. And suddenly something strikes me. Birds don't care about people. The birds are watching me draw lines, and they don't even realize that I'm the one making the drawings appear. So I come up with an idea. I draw line after line, and with each drawing, I fail on purpose. I draw terrible bird after terrible bird over and over again. And what happens is, with each failure, I can see what's wrong and I can fix that with the drawing that comes next, until, eventually, I no longer need to fail. I am drawing nice little drawings of birds, and it looks completely fine. And what happens now is that finally I have perfect drawings of birds that silence the laughter, and the birds look and fly away. Somehow, that is even more painful. But I am, at the very least, now free to do what I want. I am in a park in Tokyo, and I can make perfect little drawings of my perfect little birds for my perfect little memory wish fulfillment accomplished. I hate it. Turns out, drawing perfect birds is not very interesting to me, and I am ashamed to admit it, but I would rather hear the laughter. So I draw obscene birds. Birds that twist and turn in shape. Birds that are gross, ugly, misshapen, flying beings that shouldn't exist. And it's then that I turn, and I notice that a bird has come to take a look, and it understands. You made these, the bird asks. Yeah, how could you tell? And the bird takes some time to think, trying to formulate its many thoughts into a simple answer. Because it's bad. Oh. Okay. I don't mean that in a bad way, says the bird. It's bad in a way that looks like you. There is a reasonable part of me, a part that tells me that I should feel insulted, but once again it fails me. Instead, I feel strangely warm at heart. For a moment, a bad that looks like me is the nicest compliment that anyone has ever told me. But what about these ones, I ask and flip the pages. Aren't these better? It's not very interesting, says the bird quite plainly. It's nice, but everything is nice already. I'm not certain about that, but I decide not to go against the words of the bird. You don't like it? I ask, lacking better words. I've seen that. That's life, says the bird. Perhaps a way of saying that it's too normal, like anything else. Hmm. And you liked it more when I made it worse? Well, not worse, says the bird, but when it had something, and the bird flies away. It's not a very conclusive answer, but... 
I'm not sure if there is much more that a bird could say. Looking at my drawings, I can see all of the failures. Each and every line that has been a wrong turn. In fact, that has been how I've felt about most of my art since I picked up drawing. It's not simply been that I can't seem to please birds. Ever since I started drawing, it has felt like failing over and over again. And I compare the drawings to the ones that are nice, tidy, and clean. And maybe a lot of people would like these, but I feel nothing. Maybe because they are simply nice. Maybe because they lack something. Or maybe because they never failed. There was no room for experimentation, nothing that built on previous failure. And in comparison, the failed art is not something I feel terrible about. They are failures, but they're my failures. A glimpse into my problem solving, direction of what I find appealing, and as shape and form develops, there is a part of me that comes through it. And as I look at myself in the drawing, I can't help but laugh all alone by myself in Higashi Ikebukuro Park. It's not the perfect moment, but maybe nothing is. And that's not too bad. Imperfection is something that I could strive for. I could learn to love failure. My time is over. My schedule is tight and it's time to move on. The next time, if I stumble into Higashi Kabukuro Park, I'm hoping to fail at something else. <laughs>